Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update right on time, 5.50 a.m., February 21st, 2020. It's Friday, and we're headed out to the petroglyphs, but not before we give you an update. Whiteout conditions spark deadly 200 vehicle pileup in Montreal. Take a look at that. A pileup involving 200 vehicles killed two people and injured dozens of others on Alta Route 15 in La Prairie, Quebec, Canada, Wednesday, according to CTAM Ambulance Service. 100 people were taken to three local hospitals as whiteout conditions sparked deadly 200 vehicle pileup. Keep calm. The leading edge of the Arctic air producing snow squalls and gusty winds that created the 200 vehicle pileup brought freezing Arctic conditions down into the U.S. The Arctic air has produced actual temperatures near 30 below zero in Minnesota Thursday morning and 10 Fahrenheit in Chi-Town. Low temperature departure was 10 degrees in Chicago, 30 degrees below average in northern Minnesota. And that should ease up in the coming days. Uncertainties arise for spring 2020 as the polar vortex starts to behave unusually. It turns bizarrely symmetrical and also cold enough to start the rare ozone destruction process over the North Pole and continue to build record ice up there. We reported on it yesterday. The mainstream's picking it up. As heavy snow returns to Colorado over the weekend, the entire state picking up snow. Take a look at that. Seattle had its first sunny day in 80 days, and residents were thrilled. Many people thought geoengineers had the day off. That's not how it works. Winter storm Nash bringing snow and wind to the Carolinas. We have visual evidence. Yep, that's snow. Uh, albeit blurry, lingering snow and gusty winds in the southeast. Wet weather developing across the desert southwest. A departing storm may continue to produce snow and gusty winds across portions of North Carolina in the morning commute on Friday. Later Friday and Saturday, a storm system is forecast to move into Southern California and the desert southwest and lower elevation rain and mountain snow will move north and east up through the Four Corners region, dumping snow all over Colorado. Flash flooding will be possible across portions of Arizona on Saturday. Check out your county's freeze warnings in Southern Louisiana, freeze and frost warnings in Southern Georgia and Northern Florida. And those winter storm warnings are lingering. Click on your county for more info. Snowfall analyzer showing that heavy snow in Colorado is the big winner. Kansas picking up snow. Nebraska over the last 24 hours, six inches at the center of the state. Bullseye. And the snow on the East Coast is not being picked up by the analyzer. We'll check that tomorrow for the official numbers. Now let's look at the rest of the end of winter here. And there's a little bit of lingering snow in Hatteras right now. And then that system will... Come into California and develop across uh, Colorado. And then Michigan's going to be picking up some big totals in February 28th here. The 26th through the 28th, Michigan picking up big totals. And then the models get interesting. A small southern system and then major snow events in the first week of March. In the northeast, heavy snow predicted for New York and Philly, which are basically blank this year. And a big pocket of snow here in Iowa and maybe misery, and we're going to keep a close eye on it. Seismic update, no quakes of note, normal activity. Same with the volcano front. Biggest puff of the day, Savin Kai to 24,000. Mini Ice Age warnings coming back. They, were, they, they had gone away for a year, but they're back. Warnings for the next 30 years, minus 50 C temps in coldest areas. Astonishing blue whale numbers at South Georgia. This is near Antarctica where they had literally only seen two blue whales in 50 years. And this year, there were 55 animals sighted in just 23 days. An astounding recovery for the blue whale. There could be meteors traveling at close to the speed of light when they hit the atmosphere. In a new study from Harvard, Amir Sirja and Professor Abraham Loeb claim that it's possible that Earth's atmosphere is being bombarded by large, one millimeter to 10 centimeter meteors that could be the result of nearby supernova that accelerated these particles to sub-relativistic, even relativistic speeds from several thousand times the speed of sound to a fraction of the speed of light. Oh, 
That is a boom. The growing crisis in cosmology is another boom. If you watch Ben Davidson's short video he put out last night, you, like many others, may now know that there was no Big Bang. In fact, there are many star systems, even galaxies and stars themselves that are older than the universe currently, which is impossible. Another thing that's impossible is buying the Harvest Right freeze dryer, unless you got tons of coin. But until February 29th, a leap year sale is going on, and we have a link below because they are one of our sponsors, and you can save up to $500 plus free shipping on a freeze dryer. So if you need some motivation and you were going to buy one, you have until February 29th to click the link below to save $500, get free shipping on the Harvest Right deal of the century. Also, tinfoilcap.co over in the UK, Julian, the architect, has finally finalized our budget blocker hat for all of our viewers that are looking for 5G uh, blocking caps. They, can, they have the $65 liner in the hat, and you get to pick the ORP style that you like. Now, these are, being, these are being made in the UK. I have nothing to do with this. I just okayed the design. So don't get it twisted. I'm pretty sure he ships to the UK, and we ship all over the US. So get yours now. Another development, LeeCon less than six weeks away, it's giveaway time. You could win two VIP tickets to see LeeCon live at Gaiosphere April 3rd and 4th, 2020 in Boulder, Colorado. Meet Rex Bear, Leah, myself, and others all live with the VIP experience. You get the full day admission, special seating in the front rows, Friday night meet and greet with Q&A, schmoozing. Enter now below for your chance to win. Two tickets available worth well over $1,000. Now, where are we headed and why am I up at 5 a.m.? Well, I get up at 5 a.m. a lot, but we're going back to the procession panel trail to find what we didn't find before. We may even stop at Fishmouth Cave. Links will be below. Hope you got something out of the video. The polar vortex has tightened. The forecast is for heavy snow through March 6th. Are you prepared? It's gonna be a wild year. Coronavirus much? Be safe, we love you. And look for some updates today as we travel to Utah in just a few hours. Hours about.